Hello and welcome to Infinity. We now continue looking at what's new in Affinity Photo 2.1. So what's this vector warp nodes? Oh, it's not Affinity Photo, so we're not interested. Brush panel improvements. OK, we've got a number of things here. So let's have a look at that. The brush panel is going to be over here. If you can't see it here, you can always go to Window and Brushes here. So the brush panel will let you select brushes. So, for example, it could be an erase brush or a paint brush and so on. Let's go with the paint brush for now so we can see what's happening. If you select a brush, then it goes around here. It, it, it appears in blue, so you just got you can see where that is. If I change anything to do with the brush, even the brush size, which I can do with a right square bracket, for example, it's pretty small there. So I increase the right square bracket, then this goes red. So it shows me that, that I've now changed this brush. So if I save it, so I could right click on that and update brush. So I'm going to resize that. To the, so the next time I go there, it'll be a bigger brush. I can reset it back to the default. I can rename it. I can duplicate it, or I can just throw it away. So there's quite a few things that you can do. You can also move it or copy it to a category. A category are these drop-down menu here, all these different things that you can do with brushes. And finally, if you're using different brush types here, so I've got the paint brush here and I've got the erase brush here. So I click on the erase brush somewhere, say down here. When I go back to the paint brush, it's going to move to where the paintbrush was before. So this is keeping up with what I'm doing. OK. So quite a few things that brushing, particularly if you're doing artwork, but it's quite useful in things like masking and so on when you're working in just Affinity Photo for photographs. Raster Live war Warps, not Affinity Photo. New search bar in my add-ons. Yep, Affinity Photo here. So what's this about? And what it is, is if I go to help my account, then down here, I can get the search here. So if it's not showing, I can go down here and say show search bar. So normally it'll look like that. Then I go down and show search bar. And then I can search within all the different add-ons that I have acquired through the Affinity Store. So it just makes life a little easier if you've got a whole ton of stuff there. Double click Artboard Label to rename. Don't think that's for a photo, no. Rename Layer Shortcut and Tab Functionality. All this is, is very, very simple, is you can go to Control Shift R on Windows here. So because if I go to layer and you can do rename layer from here as well, you can also, of course, click on the name there to rename it. Uh, but with keyboard, if I go to edit settings and go to shortcuts, then photo layer, then I go down here, it's alphabetic order, so it's easy to find. Go to Rename Layer. There's nothing here assigned to it. If I try that Control shift r I've got a little triangle here. So that says Lens Distortion. That's not what I want, so I can't use that. What about Shift-R? OK, so I can put it as Shift-R. I'll do that. So I close that. And now to rename the layer, I can do, just do Shift R. I quickly get a rename layer dialog here. Nice pick. OK, there we go. Rename to nice pick. OK, that's enough for now. And thank you very much for watching.